Hi guys, with the return of Game of Thrones to our TV screens with Series 7, I thought I would return to a game I haven't played yet, but I've heard really good things about, uh, Game of Thrones A Telltale Series. So let's jump straight in and see what it has in store for us. think he done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Right, so let's uh, start sure by cleaning uh, Old Forrester won't be happy Lord Forrester's sword. So it would appear that we are his squire, uh, Garrid Tuttle. A proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're why being not? Honest, why not? They don't give swords like that to pig farmers. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. So what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's skinny man here and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't have to deny. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Good Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forest. We must be for new centuries. to this squire in business. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Let your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> the Rod Stark! Like a, King uh, in the North! The King, King in the North! He seems like a good liege lord. Rod's on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods of fables! Onward! To Castle Rock! Oh! Death to the Lannisters! Oh! Winter is coming! Winter is coming! Let's hope he waits till this bloody war's over. <laughs> Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. 
There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. Yeah. It so maybe I'm not new to the squire to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Oh, not wow. as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forester. That is quite an honor. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine. But you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Hmm. Yeah, so I've got a funny feeling this is at the end of series three of Game of Thrones. It's just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squiring for Norin and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. I'm not sure what to think of this guy. He's a bit up his own arse, isn't he? I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. And you wouldn't be a very good squire. Fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? That's right over there. Yep. It's the end of series three, alright? The Red Wedding. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walters. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Mmm. Why have they got their steel out? Not that he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. And why are they loading their crossbows, I wonder? Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Gary. Wrong. There we go. The reins of Castamere are playing. Just gone into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You'll go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Right, I'm, I'm gonna leave the squire. Oh, I didn't like him anyway. Oh. Wasn't expecting it to happen that quickly. Um, but yeah, uh, run, run, Gary. Warn Lord Forrester. Dodge his body. So the way Telltale games work, my understanding from what I played with Jurassic Park one, is uh, you do like quick time events and you make choices and story changes. And that is a cool move. Am I gonna have to press something? Oh, Got him. Oh dear. Oh, where's the arrow gonna go? Where's the arrow gonna go? Whoa! Shoot that one! Oh, let him go through the shield! Got him! Uh oh! 
Oh, thank you, uh, man of the north. Funny feeling, Quickly. it's not going to matter me leaving him. Um, I can't see the orange surviving much longer. Quick, come on, quick, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, nice one, Lord Forrester. Pick up the sword, Garrett. Oh, crossbow bolt. You fucking traitor. Go, my lord, while there's still time. Come on, pick up the sword, Garrett. Why didn't you pick the sword up off the floor? Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. All the brakes this time, don't <sighs> How did you get that wound? Iron Wrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. You have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. No one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Dunker. Tell only the Castellan. Hey, it's those foresters. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh, fucking foresters! Okay. <laughs> and run, you don't to run. Oh, okay. Run? They're coming after you next. I would be running a little bit quicker than that, I think. Oh, I'm interested to see the Telltale version of the open. As cool as these opening uh, credits are, this just looks like a low budget version of what we see in the <laughs> the TV show, unfortunately. I don't think it's had the desired effect of its uh, animation style in these opening credits.
Episode 1, Iron from Ice. I do quite like the animation style actually, it's almost like a watercolour, it's a uh, <laughs> pig. Right, so, okay, so WASD work in the direction of the cameras, okay? And then you move your mouse to look around, there's the pig. Can we talk, interact with the pig? No, oh dear. Blood on the floor. Blood. I've got a funny feeling it's not the pigs. Fresh. Oh no. Might be the pigs. Uh oh. Right, I'm back in control now. It's sometimes difficult to tell. Um, I find what's sort of um, when you're in control and when you're not um, like that was a cutscene just then when I was looking at the dead pig but then all of a sudden it turned into uh, turned into me controlling it and because there's no change in animation I f it's yeah that's father's car uh oh right Oh dear, we've got some Boltons. Hey, they're killing my pigs. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father, I said move on. No, you I would run. I you. Think. You're a forester, squire. Former Stark Bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is. Why have I got a funny feeling this is. isn't gonna uh, here by himself? Probably a deserter. Probably gonna go very well. Forester. I should have known. I wouldn't have done that. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> Just made that one. <laughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. Uh, I promised Lord Forrester. Let's not say anything. <coughs> Didn't really want to do this. But... Yeah, we're not as bad as the Boltons, let's 
show mercy. But the other one. Lord White, you will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Oh, well, I didn't want to let him go. I'd let the other one go. I didn't really want to let him go. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. Oh no. Oh no, my sister's dead. I tried to stop them. Well, my dad's dead now. I'm guessing my mother's already dead. I'll kill the men who did this. Well, no, you just showed mercy to one of them. Hopefully that won't come back to bite us later on, showing mercy to that guy. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Meet us in the Great Hall, quickly! <sighs> Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Elves just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh. <sighs> oh. Tell you what. I don't think I'd want to go back to like medieval times and that. I know they're supposed to work to lose maggots the eating the infected the area or whatever, but despicable act of yeah. treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man, and poor Roderick, a serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now, although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode there. 
Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'm certainly loving this game so far. Um, I will see you next time for part two. Bye-bye.